Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about science. You are already on the 5D new earth and may not even know it. So when it comes to the split between the old earth and the new earth, we start to recognize that something feels differently. The split that is happening is manifesting in a transition from ego-based or fear-driven thinking to a more conscious and compassionate way of being. This transition is leading us to a greater awareness of our interconnectedness and the realization of our true nature. Native Americans, for example, or many Native American tribes have prophecies that predicted a time of great change and transformation. For example, the Hopi have prophecies about the emergence of a new world or a fifth world, marking by spiritual awakening, unity and harmony. These prophecies emphasize the importance of returning to a more balanced relationship with the earth and each other. And what beautifully was said by a physicist, Niels Bohr, he said that every great and deep difficulty bears in itself its own solution. He also said that it forces us to think differently in order to find it. And that is kind of a demonstration of awakening. We recognize that something is not the way that uh, we would like it to be. We notice it's challenging, it's not natural, it's forced, it's out of sync with our core values, with our core principles, with what we know that could be the best for us and for all. It's out of sync, so we start looking at it as a challenge. And to find a solution within a challenge, we have to start thinking greatly than we were in the past when we've started making those challenges, right? Because all the huge problems in the world are man-made. And in order to find the solutions, we have to shift our own way of thinking. We have to shift our own perception around what is happening, who we are, what's our real story, and maybe where are we coming from, right? What's the meaning of everything? And when people start setting those huge questions to themselves, something starts awakening within them. People start or get into a quest of what we may call a spiritual awakening. We start recognizing that everything is interconnected. Doesn't matter in what kind of field of knowledge you indulge yourself in, you will notice that everything is interconnected. Everything leads us to the same source, right? You can study biology, you can study physics, you can study spirituality, you can study philosophy. At some point, you will recognize that all those different studies have the same source of knowledge. And some of you have already get to that point, some of you are getting there. But at some point, we all recognize that it's all coming from one source. And that one source is apparently giving life to everything, right? It holds within an incredible intelligence, an incredible ability to organize life in such a way that it can work for all. And once we in tune with that, we start living differently. And that's what is manifesting a new earth. We start treating everything differently. We start nurturing everything differently. We start looking at everything differently. Like I said, from a greater level of compassion, from a greater level of understanding. And once this starts happening, because of the law of cause and effect, we start manifesting those great changes in our lives. And many people are already doing that. So when we start fully embodying it, we start living on a new earth because our perception changes. And when our perception changes, we really see the world around us completely differently. And therefore, we experience it differently. And it feels like we are living in a, 
in our own bubble of reality that is different from everybody else that may surround us. And we may start to feel happier, more aligned, more alive, more passionate, more enthusiastic, more creative. Like our natural capacities awaken once again, our spiritual senses awaken once again. And even though we may still be living with same people or with people who are in lower frequencies, we perceive life completely differently. And that is a beauty of transformation, a work of alchemy that is happening within all of us. We transmute the lower energies into its greatest possible potential, a beauty of transformation. And there are signs, you're already there, you're already doing that. The first sign is that you feel completely at ease with yourself and anything that is happening in your life, even though challenges are still there, you may walk through them with a smile in your heart because you know that they're only making you even greater leader, even greater way shower, even greater mystic, teacher, architect, whatever is your purpose, whatever is your mission, you know that all challenges, challenges will be there, they will always be there, you know, it doesn't matter how evolved you are, you will meet challenges, because through challenges we grow, right, through challenges we evolve, so I love to challenge myself, because I know that that's how I will evolve into the greatest possible potential of myself, you can challenge yourself through through meditation, you can challenge yourself, through working out, you can challenge yourself, through embodying your purpose and doing what many people may say to you, that it's impossible or that it's not good for you, you will be facing with that, but the difference is that you're not escaping from that, you're not running away from that, you're actually walking through that with a great smile within your heart, with a great love towards yourself, because by moving through it, you're loving your greatest self into existence in the present moment. And that is something really wonderful that is making a butterfly effect on this planet Earth. And that is something truly beautiful. The second sign is that you're manifesting effortlessly because what is matching your frequency is drawn to you. Like Neville Goddard said this so beautifully. Change your conception of yourself and you will automatically change the world in which you live. Do not try to change people. They are only messengers telling you who you are. Revalue yourself and they will confirm the change. So what he said here, he said that once you change your core perception of yourself, your conception of yourself, the way you really believe who you are, the way you see yourself, the way you treat yourself, the way you nurture yourself, when you change all this... Um, all those ideas and stories and actions about yourself, you start changing, right? You start really behaving differently. Your body posture changes, your facial expression changes, your glow changes, your aura changes, your energy changes. And that's where your core frequency starts vibing on a different level, you start synchronizing your energy, you don't feel so stressed anymore, you feel more in flow, you feel more coherent, you feel more balanced, right? By practicing, for example, hard brain coherence, it's uh, a great way to achieve that state, because we notice how beautiful it feels when we are coherent. And then if we remember that sensation, we can call it up any time in our day. We can call it up when we are visualizing something. We can call it up when we want to improve our relationships. We can call it up when we are facing with a certain challenge and we don't know what would be the best possible solution. So we get into that coherent state and we will download a solution. So if you're already manifesting effortlessly, it's a sign that you're on a new earth, that you're already living in that higher frequency where things are just flowing towards you because everything is matching your frequency. Anything that is matching your frequency is naturally drawn to you. So you don't need to work hard on something anymore. You just have to match your energy with it and do what you feel called to do. That is a huge difference because 
the old concept is that you have to push and you have to force yourself and you have to work hard. The new concept is that you do what you feel called to do from your heart. We all know that sometimes we have to work hard and sometimes we have to fight. We all have within a warrior, we all have within a fighter, we all have within forces that can help us to move through certain challenging times. But we can't use only those forces to make us strive, to make us feel blissful. We have to be moderate with all the energies that are here. There are energies of attraction, there are energies of bliss, there are energies of power, of imagination, of mind, you know, emotional energies. We have to use all these different energies and pushing and forcing and fighting are just lower energies that can only be used when nothing else works. On higher consciousness, we know that mental energy is powerful. When we direct our attention to something, when we visualize something, when we feel it emotionally, we already attract it towards us. When we align our actions with our intentions, we create a strong magnetic force that starts drawing things to us, like a gravitation. We, br we become like a source of gravitation when we align our thoughts, our emotions, and our actions, and we become magnet for the life we are intending to live. And then if we move towards that patiently, we'll not be forcing those things towards ourselves. We'll stay a magnet so things can find us. And that is the highest form of creation when it comes to manifestation. And that's what it means to manifest effortlessly. If you're already doing that, you're in a new earth. The third sign is that people around you notice your calm and healing energy. It is happening to so many people. I'm receiving so many messages from so many people writing like, hey, you know, I've started noticing that people are just naturally coming towards me and, and just uh, saying, hey, you have such a calm energy. Some people are writing sometimes like, you know what? Somebody just, like a stranger came to me and asked me, something is really special about you. Like, what is that? <laughs> because they feel, you know, they feel your energy. If that is happening to you, not necessary that people are coming towards you, if not people, animals, because animals don't have this, you know, intellectual concept of what is appropriate and what is not appropriate, they just come to you because they sense, say, they, they feel safe with you. They sense your calm energy, your healing energy. If that's happening to you, you're already on that new earth, your vibration is really, really beautiful, your aura is wonderful. And just radiate that, my friend, just radiate that, that's beautiful, keep raising your frequency. The fourth sign is that you are aware of your traumas, but they don't have power over you anymore. That is a really, really powerful state to be in. Actually a powerful accomplishment. We are the generation that is making a stop or breaking the chain of getting our traumas to the next generation. We are stopping that. We are saying it's enough. I want to bring the best to my future generation. I want to, to be an example of healing. I want to be an example of change. I want to be an example of a teacher, of a leader, of a mystic, of a magician, of anyone who I feel called to be, right? And we all have been through a lot and not just us, our ancestors, they have been through a lot. So we are all holding within a lot of traumas, a lot of fear, a lot of pain, a lot of misery. And through our inner work and certain meditation practices and breathing practices and consultations and anything that works for you, you're healing the traumas, you're releasing that stored energy and there's a lot of work to do with that. But it doesn't mean that if you still have certain traumas within that you can't spiritually evolve onto a higher level. You are evolving. 
if you don't let those parts of you to control you, to have power over you, whatever you give power to has power over you. So if you're aware of your traumas and you're grateful for the wisdom they're bringing to you, they don't have power over you anymore. They are your teachers and that is something beautiful. If you feel like that, you're already on a new earth. Keep it up, keep healing yourself, keep moving through because on the other side, there's a greater version that you're loving yourself into becoming. That is powerful, that is truly powerful. The fifth sign you're on the new earth is that you sense the flow of life, the flow of life energetically that is moving through you and everything around you. So there is a flow of life, an energy, a life force that is moving through all of us, through everything around us. And if we are ignorant and we don't sense that, we somehow feel disconnected from it. And when we feel disconnected from it, we feel disconnected from life. So this life force is sometimes causing us to be more peaceful. It's sometimes causing us to be more energized. It's sometimes causing us to be enthusiastic, to be inspired. And sometimes it's causing us to be more afraid. So all those energies, life force energies, um, usually they are influencing us because of certain planetary positions. That's what astrology, the psychological astrology is all about. The synergies are just supporting us on all kinds of different levels. And sometimes they're supporting the healing. Sometimes they're supporting the breakthroughs and transformations. And on all kinds of different levels, if we learn to in tune with those energies, we will work with ease at all aspects of ourselves. We'll notice, okay, this is what I have to focus on right now. So that's why I'm giving you daily information and daily updates and updates when there are certain stronger or more intense energies because if we in tune with them we can we can work with them so rather than forcing ourselves into you know into something hard when there's actually a time of rest and rejuvenation may just cause some more stress and some more tension in our lives well, we could actually just in tune into what's present and notice what it is supporting the most at this present time. So if you sense a great connection with us, universal forces, you're already on a new earth because on a higher level of consciousness, we always work with those energies. Those are universal flows that are just, you know, supporting whatever is necessary in this present moment. We are all creators, co-creators. But we are living here interconnectedly with all other forms of life. And we need to respect that. We need to honor that because everything is making this beautiful painting called life. So be kind towards yourself because you're not alone in this process. The sixth sign is that you're seeing colors more intensely or more vividly. So why is that? Well, we all see just less than 1% of electromagnetic spectrum of light. But when our frequency starts rising, we may start to sense more. We may start to sense everything more vividly, more precisely, more beautifully. And when people start waking up their senses, they start to sense more, right? They start to sense more life, more light, more frequency. And that is a sign that your energy is raising. So if it is happening to you, you're already living in that new earth where actually you are completely aware that you are connected with everything. The seventh sign, the last one for today, is that you completely trust your intuition and can easily detach from fear by changing your focus. You've become aware that this matrix system is based on usually limiting information that is feeding your fear only so you can stay in a sense of separation so you can be controlled with whatever is feeding you with information but when you recognize that this is how it is functioning so it can survive you start 
most probably you start asking yourself, okay, do I want to do I want to feed this matrix system or do I want to be fed by life? And when you recognize what does it truly mean to be fed by life, you ask yourself, what makes me feel alive, right? What makes me feel alive? Because that's when, that's how I open up to life. So I can start loving my life a little bit more. And when you start loving the life you love, you bring more love to the life you love, right? And that's how you learn the power of manifestation. You become more of who you are right now and you become more of who you focus to be. When you focus on love, you become more loving person. When you focus on fear, you become more fearful person. So we start wondering what my highest version of myself or the greatest possible expression of myself is calling me to become and that's when we open up to intuition what that greatest possible version of myself is calling me to become if you visualize that future version of yourself that evolved self what do you have how you look like how you feel like you call up that future version of yourself and you ask yourself who do you want me to become so I can live that life. What do I need to change? What do I need to embody? What do I need to release? What do I need to let go of? So I can become you, right? So I can become that wiser me. And that's when intuition will start guiding you towards that future you. And at some point you will start trusting it. And some of you are, are already doing that work really, really well and for those who feel like that you're already on a new earth you're a great leader for many people a great way shower for many people even if you don't feel like that your energy is vibrating in the field and is causing many people to awaken many people to get to the point that maybe for you it was hard because you were maybe the first one or one of the rare ones that have achieved that state because of you it's much easier now for many others so in the quantum field you are well appreciated my friend so thank you so much for that so my friends i hope you found something valuable today i'm sending you all lots of love blessings and power i hope you've enjoyed in today's painting that you found some source of inspiration within it Thanks to all of you for supporting my art in our Etsy shop, I Draw My Passion. The link is also in the description of this video. Thank you so much. Until next time, one love.